Uh, Coach, I know you were uh, not displeased with the start uh, the other night. Obviously not uh, a whole lot of offense coming. Uh, what are the challenges in creating offense, uh, first against the Marlies and especially with the lineup that we have right now? Well, I think in terms of we need to play to our strengths and uh, we got to minimize what their strengths are. And when you start looking at uh, what they bring to the table, I mean, their first and expected goals or third and expected goals or first and expected goals on the power play and their third overall uh, generating rush chances. Well, that tells me that, first of all, you got to stay off the uh, stay disciplined so they're not on the power play and the PK has got to do a job when you do kill some penalties. And on top of that, you can't uh, turn pucks over and allow them to get their rush chances. They're not a very good forechecking team and uh, conversely you know their breakouts they're not strong on breakouts because uh, if you have a good forecheck you can certainly turn pucks over and spend some time in OZP and I don't think we did enough of that uh, over the 60 minute game now was it close and do we have our opportunities absolutely but uh, let's face it Sogart was our best player and made some great saves uh, to keep us in that hockey game so I think for us uh, if we're going to play into the style of play uh, that the Toronto Marlies bring to the table uh, then it could be a long night if we want to get back to the basics in terms of our structure and play with a little bit more detail um, I think we'll be fine tonight. Uh, when you talk about Sogard and, and his performance, and he's starting to string some more solid efforts together, uh, can that be a little bit motivating for uh, the guys in front of him to maybe give him a little bit more support as well? Well, I hope so. I mean, he's uh, you know he's had a couple of really good starts in a row, and uh, you know except for maybe one uh, glitch since he's returned from injury, uh, I think he's been fantastic. And uh, our goal is to continue to put him in the net and, and build up uh, those games played. And uh, you know I don't think we're quite ready for the back the back types of uh, uh, games for him but uh, certainly you know when you're playing three and four games a week uh, he needs to be in the net and uh, when you have you know eight regulars out of the lineup um, and you know as coaches we can always use you know injuries as an excuse and uh, and we don't want to do that because uh, you know you, you coach what you have and, and you do the best job you can to, to make that possible for wins um, but in these circumstances um, you know Sogart has has the ability to win games for us and has to be our best player but at the same time we need to support him uh, with a little bit better detail and uh, when your team is maybe not as uh, talented uh, as the opposition coming in uh, if you play with more structure and detail you're still going to be in hockey games. Uh, you talked about going into the Toronto game the crowd that they had tonight's an expected sellout here what could your team kind of take from from the energy? Well you know in my experience here uh, with the the games that we have had some 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 great crowds and I'll go back to last year uh, our end our season ending game against Toronto uh, was a sold sellout and a great atmosphere the playoff game uh, with Rochester I think we had 3200 and, and they were very boisterous it certainly can be an aid you know and uh, players need to feed off that energy and and hopefully uh, tonight you know we know there's going to be some Toronto Marley fans and Toronto Maple Leaf fans in the uh, in the stands but uh, we'd rather have people in the stands regardless of who they're taking for so uh, it should be a fun night tonight and uh, hopefully we can get that one back and even our record at three and three against the Marlies. Uh, you've had some influx on your defense uh, Christian Rubens has been a player that's eight minutes for you all year and especially coming back from injury what have you seen from, from him and how has he kind of steadied your, your defensive core? Well I, I think you know when you go through some some fluctuation with the roster movement at both positions and certainly from the defense you know we've we have not had heater all year you know JBD's only played eight games and um, you know and now you, you you don't have Larson as well uh, you know Rubens is a little bit of a stability back there and he's a big body and uh, you know when you start looking at plus minus not that that tells it all but you know uh, he's an even player you know and when you have players with minuses uh, those type of things you need to look at so um, you you know what, he, he was banged up there uh, from blocking a shot, so he, he has that ability to kill penalties and uh, be physical, and um, you know, he will allow us to uh, to be able to, to do some things in defensive zone coverage that hopefully will uh, slow down the skill guys from the opposition. A couple more moments here with head coach Troy Mann. Uh, we talked a little bit about it after the game, Boxing Day, uh, and the performance of Ridley Gregg uh, in Toronto. Uh, I wanted to focus in on the hit he threw on Mark Johnstone, which was uh, a solid, solid check. And as much as we talk about his offense and the things that he's uh, expected to do in that regard, uh, is this kind of a sign of the type of two-way player that he can be? Yeah, I, I think Ritter, you know, as he grows into his 
body you know uh, the kid weighs I think he's up to 180 pounds but you know there's still room to grow there and uh, you know I, I know they have a, a plan in place for him over time uh, to hopefully maybe come September be 190 you know once he gets uh, grows you know becomes a man you know because ultimately he's still a kid at 20 years old uh, you know that's going to help the type of game he plays and that's what he needs to do and that's how he plays you know he's got some skill and uh, he's going to be a, a real good 200 foot player that you know much like we count on him he can kill penalties he'll block a shot you know he'll play physical when needed he'll slash a guy behind the scenes when you don't see it uh, and those are all attributes that coaches love so uh, along with the offense uh, you know that's why uh, the organization and us as the coaches uh, here in Belleville are, are very high on him. And lastly, uh, let's look at the lineup for tonight. Uh, Jacob Larson recalled this morning. How does that impact things? And uh, how do you, uh, I guess, counter the Toronto Marlies tonight? Well, it's, it's about opportunity, right? And, uh, you know, Bernard's been healthy scratching uh, quite a bit here recently. And, um, you know, now that it's time for him to, uh, you know, give us some quality minutes tonight. You know, uh, obviously it's great to have Aspero back. And, and, and JD's been a steady presence since he's uh, come from Orlando. And, and then you have obviously Rubens and, and Gannett, who have been two mainstays uh, since game one. Uh, you know, the Breton kid has slowed up somewhat uh, in terms of uh, his ability to to generate offense but you know still solid on the breakouts which you like to see uh, so now Bernie's got to contribute to the, the PK tonight that's going to be a big big part of his game tonight is just move the puck get the puck into the forwards hands and give us a, a physical presence down low in D zone coverage and when we do have to kill penalties uh, be a stabilizer there and that's what we're looking for him so as much as it's about Larson going up a uh, good opportunity for him it's it's an opportunity for Bernie uh, to not only solidify himself in the lineup uh, but you know eventually that you know Larson, JBD, and and Heater will hopefully be back at some time if the Sens ever get healthy. And uh, like you said, an opportunity to even the season series with the Marlies tonight. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thanks a lot, Footy.